So here we have our Abies concolor, or white fur, in the Pinaceae family. So this is one of our true furs. Um, it's mostly found in the southwestern portion of the United States, especially in the Rockies and the Sierras. It, it ranges from northeastern Oregon down into Baja, California, and then eastward across into Wyoming. So it grows anywhere from about 3,000 feet to 8,000 feet, especially in Oregon. In California, it can grow up to about 10,000 feet in elevation. This tree grows up to about 200 feet tall and three to five feet in diameter. Some of the key characteristics when trying to identify your Abies concolor compared to your other true furs are looking at the needles. First of all, we see that we have stomatal bloom on both surfaces and that stomatal bloom gives it this very bluish green appearance, even from a distance. So that very light, very blue green appearance is quite characteristic. Also the length of these needles, it has some of the longest needles of all of our true furs or abies, and they can grow anywhere from one and a half to three inches in length. So the really long needles and that stomatal bloom on both surfaces are key characteristics. So this can be too ranked. I would say more often than not, you tend to see it with this very scraggly form on the twig that almost looks like it's had a bad hair day. So whereas a lot of our other abies or true furs look like they're nice, neat, and manicured, not the abies concolor. It has that sort of unkept appearance to it. The terminal buds on the abies concolor are typically born in threes and they'll often be covered in a little bit of <clears throat> pitch or resin on the tips. The bark of the Abies concolor is typically greenish gray when young and will often have these resin blisters. And then as the tree matures, it will develop more of those ridges or furrows <clears throat> and turn a little bit barker. Interestingly, the inner bark is two-toned, so it sort of alternates this reddish brown tinge with more of a tan color. In terms of uses, the Abies concolor has been used for boxes, crate, and pulp wood. So Abies concolor does hybridize quite readily with Abies grandis and is often known as Abies grandis var idahoensis when you see the hybrid. The hybrid will look a lot like an Abies grandis typically, so it will have the two distinct bands of stomatal bloom on the under surface of the leaf and be mostly dark glossy green on the upper surface of the needles. But often in that, on that upper surface, if you look at the notch of the needle in that upper surface, you'll see a little bit of stomatal bloom on that upper side. And it will sometimes get a little bit more of the unkept appearance from the Abies concolor as well. So Abies concolor, again, key characteristics Stomato bloom on both surfaces of the needles, typically two ranked, but can often look kind of scruffy in appearance. And then it also has the longest needles of all of our abies or true furs at about one and a half to three inches in length. 